Back to the election and at the top of the ballot is the race for governor. Before a November showdown, it was a clash between GOP candidates. The question who will face off against the heavy Democratic favorite Jack Conway during the general election. The Washington Post ranked Kentucky's GOP governor's race as the second most contested race in 2015. Tonight we have a team of reporters at the campaign headquarters for every major gubernatorial candidate. Early on, the favorite looked to be Hal Heiner, and that's where we begin with WYNT's Tanner Hesterberg. He joins us now live from the Heiner camp in Louisville. Tanner. Steve Neal, good evening from the Gies Foundation Lodge in Beckley Creek in Louisville, where tonight Hal Heiner will address a room of supporters. You see behind me the podium where he will speak to a room full of supporters here at the lodge later tonight. Obviously, he'll be delivering either a, a victory speech or a concession speech. Obviously, his supporters here hoping he comes out on top in a crowded field of GOP candidates. Now, earlier I spoke to one of Heiner's biggest supporters about how confident he is in his candidates chances of victory tonight. Former Louisville Metro Councilman Hal Heiner is hoping big turnout in his home Jefferson County propels him to victory in a crowded Republican field. Heiner supporter and prominent state Republican Bill Stone says the race is a toss up. Anybody that tells you they know exactly what's happening right now is just fooling themselves and fooling you. We feel pretty good about our situation. But I think the polls are pretty accurate. I think it's close. Stone says Heiner is the best candidate for Eastern Kentucky. As far as Eastern Kentucky is concerned, this is a very important election for them. You get a leader like Hal Heiner, who's, whose entire persona is about job growth, economic growth, economic investment. That's what Eastern Kentucky needs. Heiner told us in a previous interview he wants to build a more business-friendly environment in Kentucky. We need to be the best place for a small business to start. And other states have small business incentives that help helps keep the load of taxation off the backs of those businesses when they're in the growth mode. Hoping Republicans pick him to represent the party on the November ballot. And obviously the polling is showing a very tight race in this GOP primary, but representatives of the Heiner campaign say they are cautiously optimistic that Hal Heiner, the Louisville businessman and former Metro Councilman, will come out on top. Live in Louisville, Tanner Husterberg, WYMT Mountain News. All right, Tanner, thank you very much.